12 years ago, me and my friend got together and created a podcast to talk about the things we wanted to talk about. Now, he, he only lasted four episodes, but I continued this series and it has grown from a simple laptop in a parking lot to the guests and, and stuff you see today. So, so join me on a journey to how it all began as we see my first season my glasses are broken I'll talk time with caffeine enjoy the movie <laughs> Live from Vendelia, Ohio, it's Vendelia 1998, with special guest star, Michael Mackey. Hey everyone, this is Mark here, also known as Vendelia 1998, and I'm sure you remember my guest here, who was in the bully video last year. What's up? And, coming soon, we will be doing a segment called Talking Time with Caffeine as we talk about random stuff. So stay tuned for it. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Hey everyone, it's me. Now a year ago, we promised you a brand new talk show, Talking Time with Caffeine. And finally, we're here to start. You know about me, Vendela 98. Here's my co-host for, for this. Mike. He was a pirate before, I think. Or British guy, I forget. Anyways, we're going to talk about stuff that we like and stuff we hate. Starting with the Xbox One, which I'm not getting. For one very important reason, the 24-7 online... Oh, sorry. It, 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 you can use it for 24 hours before you have to click online again. Yeah. Guess what, Microsoft? Some of us don't have internet 24-7. You think I'd be here at McDonald's shooting a video, uploading videos and stuff, if I had internet at my house? Yes, that's, that's true. Do you have 24-7 access to the internet, Mike? Yes, I do. <laughs> you, you, you do? At your house? At my house. Oh, fine, you can get an Xbox, I guess. So that's why I was kept keeping quiet on that. But the one redeeming quality of the Xbox is they're gonna have the, the new Kingdom Hearts 3 game is gonna be available on the Xbox One, as well as the as well as the PlayStation 4. And it's, uh, the, other, the good news is Kingdom Hearts 3 has finally been released, not released, but it's finally hey we're, we're finally making this game. They said, Oh yeah. Uh, seven years after they made two and the, the, the like the six or seven filler games they made in between the games. Like, hey, it's, it's time to make the real game now. Let's have all these fillers. Of course, it's probably going to be... I like Kingdom Hearts all, probably going to be more Disney fluff in it than the Final Fantasy action part. The more blood, guts, and cool. Yeah. A little bit more on the Final Fantasy part, a little less on the Disney part. Like, less happiness... Oh, uh, happiness is a good thing for the ending, but... Some, more action. <laughs> you like action? Yeah. Alright. Uh, do you have any favorite YouTube star? Any, any favorite YouTube stars, Mike? 
at your, at your 24 7 access at your house is slow. Uh, uh, I guess what I'm watching right now, also say, but what I'm watching right now is the, the called Grill Hearts Geek 2. Grill Grills Heart Geeks 2. They, they, they were they were just banned a while ago. They're back. They they used to be Grill Hearts Geeks. Now they now they're Grill Heart Geeks 2 because the old channel was a flag or something because stupid people flag them for stupid reasons. They they now they're over they're over analyzing the Power Rangers series. You watch Power Rangers? No. Yeah. Years ago. Yeah, they're watching the old, all the old seasons, you know, and, and talking through them, and like, like, stupid, 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 she's hot, stupid, 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 that's funny, she's hot. You should check them out on YouTube, after you watch this video, of course. Unless you're already found there, so good, good for you. Unless you get attacked by Sasquatch, then you're fucked. That, that only happens if you're eating jerky. I like jerky. Ah. Watch well... It. Me. Well, I think that's all the time we have here today. Leave in the comment section what you, what you find and tell us. Also, leave in the comment section and tell us what you want us to talk about because we have ideas now. Peace. See you next time. Hey, all. Remember us? It's been two months, but Talking Times Caffeine is back. <laughs> First thing, weather. It sucks. <laughs> yes. Especially fall and spring, where the weather can change instantly. Where we were teachers and stuff, all of a sudden, trying to do this, it's cold all of a sudden. Definitely in Ohio. <laughs> Changes every 15 minutes, man. <laughs> um, today, don't ride your bike today, apparently, because it's a very dangerous day to ride your bike. Dangerous. Adventurous and dangerous. <sighs> Oh, and oh, oh, yeah. Plugging here real fast. Go vote at some for some podcast thing and some Stoppy Award something for the Relate Those War Crew people. Tell them I said, yeah. And I'm thinking of podcasts. Why aren't we a, why aren't we a podcast? It's supposed to be a podcast. Yeah. Don't know what we do, but we should definitely be a podcast. What's a podcast? What is a podcast? I honestly don't know. <laughs> Your guess is mine. But apparently, yeah, I think they talk about stuff. Do we, do we talk about stuff? We're a podcast, I think. Let's find out. Let's ask the viewers. What is a podcast? Are we a podcast? Or are we just some random people randomly saying stuff? That is a good question. Alright. Now on the next topic. This is. We're gonna call it spare the moment. And shake it. Oh yeah. Speaking of that, never touch it. It's gross. <laughs> Shit. Well, shit's bad. All right. We are not good at this law, are we? <laughs> cold. It's crazy. Yeah, we are cold. It's very cold. I have a t-shirt. He has shorts. It's my pants and he has a sweater. So, you know, it's balanced out, I guess. We need something to match the weather. Yin, 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 yang. Whatever else balanced the sea salts and all that stuff. Even the tree is cold. It's shivering. Yeah. So, what, what are you drinking right now? Dr. Pepper. Me too. Makes the world taste good. Buy it at any store. The 23 flavors and stuff. You got Dr. Pepper? Give us, give us a sponsorship. We gotta make sure we sell you. It's not made by us. Not endorsed by us. Only by Dr. Pepper. Pepsi. Let's want to give us money for it. Mm -hmm. Dr. We'll, we'll, do, we'll do that. All, all that stuff. If it's, if it's have sponsors and stuff, and you might want to partner with us, we'll take that too. 
Do you want money? No okay. care. We're not shy about saying it. Let's also talk about our next segment. It's going to be where are we going to be next? It's going to be a random spot in Vandalia each time. It's right now. Chris, no. We can, we, can, we can do live if we want to one of these days, even though this is recorded, obviously, but uh, they have these YouTube live things we could do. Yeah, but that would be like totally, totally. What is today's news? Uh, what well, is crazy? Ooh, news, news. What happened to news? What happened to news? <laughs> anything, that, anything happened to news lately? I don't know. I don't want some news. I watch uh, on the internet. Let's see news, news, news. Uh, we may or may not be we may or may not attack in Syria for, for, for some reason or not. Yeah, I heard about something on the news about something crazy. Why can't people just be peaceful? And and some people are like, let's go bomb, yeah, bomb Syria, because it's the end of the world and all that crap. It's only The end of the world and all that stuff, and then, and then a lot of people are like, "Who cares about Syria? It's stupid." See, weapons are bad, but in the hands of the right people, like for hunting and stuff, it's good. But yeah. as long as you're not hunting for fun, hunting for, and hunting for just for food and stuff, yeah. I, I was hunting one time, and they actually ate the animal they cooked. They didn't, I go shooting for fun. Ooh, animal shoot, hit, next animal shoot, boom. So I've been there too. Not there, but you know. The Constitution. Our forefathers worked for them. And now, yeah. the government's trying to take away our rights. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, of course, but take away. They don't like to take away all guns from everybody. They'll take away. Like, like, hey, you crazy person. Don't you have a gun near a school system. Like, how hard. Like, 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 there's no guns near schools. No that makes sense. I know. But, it's not like it's not like we're banning guns. Period. People are, people are like you're taking away my you're taking away my guns. Give me back my guns. We don't want your guns, sir. <laughs> we just don't want you. We just don't want you shooting random people <laughs> with them. Yeah. Cold as motherfucker. What thing? Were these like fifty or something? Sixty? <laughs> Feels like thirty. Oh, I, random thing. I, I, my, my parents told me to go kill a fly, right, up to their house. And, like, okay, I, I wanted to try to hit it with a fly swatter, and then it flew into a spider web and fire got it. I'm like, fire, like, fly's dead. <laughs> Did you kill it? No, but it's dead. <laughs> Trust me, I think it's dead. Whatever spiders do with it. I think spiders kill them, don't they? Yeah. Pretty much dead. They make a web as a trap. And then once the spider eats the fly, uh, fly and he's going to get the spider and go fit to a bird or something. The spider eats the fly and the spider surely die. Because it's the food chain. Food chain of, the food chain of life. The circle of life. <laughs> then go feed, that bird, then go feed that bird to a cat. Then go feed the cat to a dog. I don't know about that. <laughs> shit happens. Yeah. Alright. Uh, I think that's all the randomness we can talk about today. You, you think that thing is random to talk about? Please stay tuned to our channel on our next episode. But it's hopefully we'll be in another, another two months. <laughs> uh, Alright, as always, if you enjoyed this, thumb it up down below. Yeah. And comment. We want to hear your comments. And you put other people's comments and say, say, and, say that you're, say, and tell them your comments are good or your comments are stupid. Comment the comments and all that stuff. And subscribe! You! If you're not subscribed yet, why haven't you subscribed? Well, why haven't they subscribed yet? Neither do I. And remember, check out check out the other videos and enjoy the randomness. Yeah. Hey everybody, we're back. This you know him, he has on YouTube channel now. You don't know what it is yet. Can't, can't remember. Yeah. I'll tell you, and you know me, of course, Ben Philly the 98. 
the best YouTuber in the world. Yeah. All right. So I got this Facebook message from this girl last night wanting me to vote for her in a bikini contest, but all the links she sent me were for these dating sites and sex sites and blah 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 sites. So it costs money. So like, 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 nah. I don't think so. It's kind of like where's the typical link to the actual voting site? Think twice before using a dating site because marriage is involved and it's crazy. I want that. Fatal attraction waiting to happen. I want to prevent that all together. Never rush into anything. Never dedicate yourself to something you can't handle. So, anything happening that you want to talk about? A lot of crazy stuff's been happening lately. Crazy drivers. Yeah. Last week, I shouted at somebody who ran a stop sign and got hit. He decided to get all psycho crazy and chase me down with his truck. So I learned not to shout at drivers. But yeah. I lit. He, he chased, he, he actually followed you around town? He followed me around town all the way up the street, down side to street, side street, tried to get away from him. Eventually I talked some sense into him and he drove off. And, oh my god, it was adrenaline rush from hell. Where, where is a cop in where, where, where are police people when you need, actually need them? I'm trying to flag down an old lady she acted like I wasn't even there. She's like, hey, he's chasing me. She didn't, didn't even care. It's just funny. The police are doing something bad. The police, the police are all over you. But like when you like... Yeah, but they're quick to pull you over. But when something really happens, they don't do anything. That's where our taxes are going. Oh, yeah. Pain the cops to not do shit. Oh, I'd like to give a shout out to uh, Luxley, who actually commented on our, on our last video. What? See, I got a shout out to, to Luxley, who actually commented on our, on our last video. No, Luxley. Luxley. He, 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 he has a comment on our video. So shout out to him. Yeah. And we're, we're also, the rest of you, get at it. Start commenting. Oh yeah. What improvements we need to work upon? Do you like it? Yeah. Or if you hate it? Or if you just don't care if you like you hate it? <laughs> uh, so, so what's your list of topics? I want to talk about how many people do not know what epilepsy is. Very serious disorder. The brain, neurology. But people have seizures. They can't control them. Sometimes. sometimes with medicine it helps. Sometimes it doesn't. I've lost 15 minutes of my life because of seizures. Didn't even know what happened. But there are many epileptics out there. People that are uneducated about the subject that doesn't get noticed at all. There's not a lot of epilepsy awareness to it. Yeah, there's a commercial or two, but there's way more stuff out there like rallies for cancer, rallies for something else. But what about epileptic disorder? Oh, cheer the disorder. So if you know any epilepsy treatment places around that there, they exist, donate money to them. It's like the Epilepsy Foundation, I would say. Never let a moment lost to epilepsy. Or start, a fun, start your own fundraiser. Yeah. Let's start a walk. Start handing out bumper stickers and handing out wristbands. Especially, walk, especially walk. If, if you're a more famous YouTuber, you talk about this. Like walk for epilepsy. It's for your health too. And that info cards. Do, do, they, do they have those things? Or anywhere? Yeah. Churches do that. Ah. So if you contact your local church and make it happen, I'll come to it. If it's local for us. Yeah. Maybe too far. But yeah. Like, I have epilepsy I, myself. Yeah. Like, if you don't have to be local here, just start your own somewhere, like in California or, or Texas or Canada or, or Spain. I mean, it doesn't really matter which location you guys I know I have. As long as you 
up the call. I need to, I still have, have two fans in New Zealand. Get to get get out, you two. Okay. That's the UCC. Corn Jumbo and Bundo TV. So you should make a list first for that list. Oh. So uh, oh, pretend to be nice to people, people at, at work, people you work with. People, like they can be nice to them, they, they treat you like jerks. Yeah, that. I talked about that. Facebook girl. I want to talk, also talk about a close friend of mine died back in February. It was my friend Matt Young. And substance abuse, I'm wearing memory of Matt Young, substance abuse against it. He used to use a whole bunch of over the counter. Here, this is what it looks like over the counter drugs, and I'm highly against it because he was abusing them. And so, yeah, stuff like cough syrup, stuff you can get over the counter. He eventually, a couple times, he'll be, but eventually die. Or make, make sure that that doesn't happen for somebody else. Yeah, even the trip and drugs are bad or whatever if you don't use them right away. If you use it and the doctor doesn't tell you to take it, it's wrong. It shouldn't be. It's only. Yeah. Legal drugs, legal drugs can be bad too. Yeah. And cause overdose, uh, liver failure, kidney failure. Stomach bleeding. We're not saying don't. If you, if you have the, don't, you can't use it. Just use it properly in the right, in the right way. Yeah. Also messes with people's brains. Oh, and yeah, like I said, use medicine. Don't be most people like, like, like oh, well, let's, let's, our use child's sick. Of our, our child is sick. Let's just let's let's just let's, 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 let's pray the problem away. I go to the doctor. Right, well, I mean, some some people, some people that they 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 like they'll just pray and not go to the doctor at all, and the child dies. That's the last thing people want to do is bury their son or daughter. Yeah, it's a real touchy subject. Too. Yeah. That's that's, that's that's what we're here for the touchy subjects. Something that you don't want to talk about. Shed light on subjects and try to prevent further stuff from happening. It's happening a lot more and more in the youth nowadays. Kids aren't going outside playing like we used to do when we were kids. They're actually going out there and getting completely wasted, messing up their brains, having sex at a young age. And they don't even know what the hell they're doing. They don't know the repercussions, getting pregnant quick. Hey, everybody nowadays, it's, it's a fact. Everybody's getting pregnant. Hey, some adults don't know what they're doing either. Some adults don't know what they're doing either. Yeah. It's just spiraling out of control. This whole age is provocative. And then, you know, up on TV, see nothing but sex. Back in the day, you wouldn't get away with that. Uh, well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, I guess that's all for, all for this week's episode. This is a serious episode. Uh, like I said, start an epi- epilepsy program in your neighborhood. You start fundraising, send money to them, find information about it, and share this message. Share this message with share this video with people that could have more reach than we do. Yeah, and if you do some research upon it, if you have a buddy of yours that has epilepsy, you need to further understand what he's going through. Uh, be sure to thumb up this video, comment down below, we've got other comments, favorite it, 
And if you haven't, of course, subscribe. Yeah. And as always, enjoy the randomness. Hi, this is Talking Down with Caffeine. I'm Mike. I'm Ben Golden 98. We're here today to talk about a subject that we all know and deal with on a constant basis, which is negativity. And how to deal with it, how to find peace. I'm going to tell you how I found peace. See, I used to go a lot through a lot of mental stress, physical stress, and I thought to myself, why go through hell and live in a mental jail cell? You can find the key to serenity and freedom from past memories, which is acceptance. Yeah. Stuff's going to happen in your life that you can't control. Some of the stuff you can't control, but the only thing you control is you. And once you accept that, that the negative things in your life make you stronger, and it's more so like a shield. Positive, po positive. Because there's some things you should never accept, like yeah. hatred, hatred and stuff. Yeah. Like, like, like big, bigotry and stuff. Negativity even though, even though you can't probably, even though you probably can't probably change that at this moment individually, but you can't soon accept it either. Yeah. Negativity spreads, but peace also spreads too. I, you know, I learned something. I went to Drexel one time. I went to my buddy's house. And I don't normally watch the show, Steve Harvey show, but he said, I woke up this morning. Now, if you wake up in the morning and you say, oh, crap, oh, oh man, it's so early, I feel like crap, how's your day going to be? But if you wake up and you say, thank you for keeping me alive, thank you for keeping me alive, I'm alive, I tried that out my whole day. Things were going good. The people around me started to change a little bit. What's your standpoint about it? Yeah. Sometimes, sometimes I'm really down. I'm really down. Like, that's why I was bullied in school. I was all, all, all negative and stuff. But I, I turned that to, negative to positive. I, I learned how to, to embrace, not embrace the bullying, but you know, to, to use that to push me to be better than I was before. Yeah. And the fact is, this is how I started my YouTube channel. You know, my name, the the people that used to bully bully me in school, the Vendillians in my class, and now I'm using that name to think positive. Yeah. Speaking of, of positive, I told him, you remember last week we did an episode of the epilepsy special? Well, me and him talking about that 10 minutes after the video was uploaded, the Epilepsy Foundation started following us on Twitter. Like 10 minutes later, I'm like, like wow. It's, they saw, they saw our video. And that's so awesome because that's what we were going for is get more epilepsy awareness. Just so people can understand it rather than just passing it off as nothing. I also got another email later that day. Um, the amazing atheist Google uh, followed me on Google Plus. I was like, wow! He, 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 you don't know who he is. He's a famous YouTuber. Tuber. You check out his channel. But he like he actually followed my Google Plus account. I was like, sweet. Uh, also, uh, if you if you are, are fans of Wait There's Lore, it's a Warcraft podcast on. Uh, SmokingGamer.com on YouTube. Um, there's this guy named Necro, and he's thinking about changing factions. You can hashtag it on Twitter at hashtag NecroFaction, and he, tell me what you think. He, he used to be Alliance, I think he used to be Horde. I, I think you know it might be fun to try out new things. But you should really be an undercover agent. You know, pretend to be a Horde, but they'll be Alliance, an undercover agent. You know, but you know, still. You find all the new lore, new characters, you know, and what you and Necro, if you listen to this, you want to battle and ID me, if we level together, PM me on, on SmokeyGamer.com. Uh, oh, also, the government shut down. It's, it's happening. People aren't getting paid. And, you know, it's like, it's like the Congress is like little kids, like holding their, like little Tyler's holding their breath not getting their way. So, not people aren't getting paid because of, because of them. You know, I think they should not get paid either. The people in the Congress, you know, they, 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 they will hold the government and that put pay people, you know. But why they get paid? Because they have to start with this. They don't get not getting their way. Yeah, someone told me today they got money for war, to go to war on somebody, and then now they don't got money for 
country's governmental needs, like the post office and other places, then why go to war if you're broke? And people still, people still, and people are still working, just like getting paid to, to basically be working for free now. It's not the, they, they still have to do their jobs. Yeah, it's really messed up. Who wants to work for free unless they're volunteering? And then, like, this is not, this is a, this is a volunteer charity thing. This is, this, is, this is jobs. Yeah, jobs that run the country. Americans like crap. That's how I get. Like, like, like I said, they have to go, you know, they have towers, you know, or, or like you store. There's like throw a little tantrum over the way, like, 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 no, like, like, I'm not buying candy. So let's just shut down for a little bit and just watch what happens, see if everybody freaks out. Or, you know, that's probably the, they control things with fear. You know what I'm, my, my idea out here is? I thought about this yesterday, that if you live life in fear, your life is in the dark. And that's what the big deal is, you know, about people, like, like, People go to the doctors, big deal. So what? They like, don't go to the doctors. You know, like, honestly, the big deal is you know, not going to go to the doctor. You know? Yeah, the government's trying to say, if I haven't got insurance or I can't pay my hospital bills, that I'm going to go to jail. Like, whoa, broke? Why, why are you going to send me to I need hospital. <laughs> I, I've, been, I've, been, I've been to a hospital or a doctor in like forever if I can't afford it. Like, like, I have epilepsy, but the people out there that don't have a disorder or anything, or getting money off the government, getting paid, probably dealing with drugs and stuff like that. And, oh, what am I doing struggling? I gotta go to a reach out clinic and hope, and hope to get my medicine, to survive. It's not, it doesn't get you high or anything, to survive. I have to have it to live. And the government won't give me assistance. They denied me three times, didn't leave a number, literally left 10 zeros. And it's frustrating. Other people say, oh, I'm sick. I can't go to the doctor. I don't have insurance. They can't afford that. They can't afford a doctor. They can't afford insurance. So they yeah, gotta hope they get better, just, just not. Yeah. So like, so I'm all for this thing, even though I, I, I didn't check it. Out. I haven't checked it out yet because you know I'm at time, but I'm gonna check it out about that thing. I probably can't afford the platinum ones. That's quite expensive. But I might know the bronze or the bronze, silver, gold, platinum. I thought I could afford the platinum. And he did helps, you know, like to be able to really go to the, go to a doctor or dentist, or whatever, you know, if your teeth hurting, or whatever. Just, just the, if they're hoping that it goes away or this, yeah, I can go dentist. Five thousand dollar medical bill afterwards. You can't afford I, that. I have a tooth I have to have removed, and I can't afford it. And by the time I can, it's probably going to get worse and spread to other teeth. And dentist costs a lot, and they're teeth. I can't do it. But. Hopefully, we'll be able to soon. Yeah. Uh, oh, you forgot your YouTube channel name of your YouTube channel yet? Oh, wait. It's gonna put it under there when it. Whatever. Anyways, we, he, has a, he has a YouTube channel. We, we don't want to say what, what it is yet. No, I don't want to say what it is because I don't want people to know. Because there are shady people out there and uh, I don't want to be part of But I'll still make videos. But That's why you should get a channel done. Then. Let's get a new channel done. Anyways. Uh, Nickel Faction, uh, the email, anything else we're talking about? Uh, let's see. Oh. Uh, oh, hate, uh, speaking of hatred, uh, we saw a video about, you might have heard of the Westboro people, they were here in Vendelia a few years ago, I didn't know that, but they, they were here for this funeral. They, they suck. It really made me sick to my stomach to know that they think it was justified that those five-year-olds died. It makes me sick to my stomach. That lady was just spouting out craziness. She is just completely nuts. She needed to just silence herself. She just needed to just sit at home and just to keep her thoughts to herself. You know, you might not like things that happen here, you know, you might not like believe in it, but this, this is still America, you know, and yeah. it's, you came here for freedom, you know. Uh, it, you 
can't pick and choose your freedoms. It's all it's all or nothing. You know, you can't like oh, I, I I like this freedom. I like this freedom. So I'm not gonna believe it. I'm not gonna. Everyone doesn't like this freedom either because it's stupid. You know, I, it's, you can't pick and choose. It's America. Yeah. Like a lot of people don't know, I'm Christian, but I'll push my beliefs on people, and you know why? Because people half time people shove down people's throats, and they they go hardcore against it, and then they're all hateful. Because the people are like, oh, well, we're going to go to hell. They're so misconstrued with their beliefs that they're actually against what they believe in. And, yeah, that's something for them to think about. Yeah. Well, I can't think of anything else at this time. You? Uh, what? Yeah, I'm uh, all right. Well, hope you enjoyed. Hope you enjoyed coffee time. Coffee time ca- caffeine today. It's been it's been a pleasure chatting with you. As always, if you like what you see, thumb up down below, and also hit the subscribe button. Yeah. And just remember to enjoy the randomness. Stay positive. Everybody. Welcome to another episode of Talking Time with Caffeine. You know me, I'm Vinday 1998, and my co-host Mike B is still here. Here's my new, my new co-host. Here's your stuff. Hello, I am Melissa Todd, also known as Curian's Mama, and I am here to talk about rude people. That is the topic today. Also, you can see our Twitters are down below. You want, you want to tweet us? It's now. We're famous now. <laughs> uh, I can let your rude people there. Okay. I am sick of rude people. It's like people have no manners at all. And you would think that the older generation would have better manners because you know, back then most people did. But... Maybe that's, probably see. maybe that's just a rumor. Maybe they just say they are they are behave. Maybe they really weren't, you know. Maybe that's they're... true. That's true because you know, there was no internet, so we don't have proof. We don't have status updates of them. You know, they really were. So and they could be senile and forget that they were really just some rude asses back in the thirties or <laughs> so. The, um. But yeah, there was this lady, this was about three weeks ago, at the Wendy's in Vandalia. I go through the drive-thru, I get something to eat, and I park in the parking lot. So I'm sitting there eating, get ready to pull out, and I see this little old lady getting out of her car with a walker, and just by herself. So she was going in to eat, so I thought, well, I will park my car. I will get out, walk to the door, open it for her, and she'll say thank you, you know, I'll give her a good deed for the day. So that's what I did. I opened the door, she walked through, and kept going. I didn't get a thank you, I didn't get a well bless your heart, I didn't... It could have been worse. <laughs> at least, at least you said nothing. Uh, some yeah. guy would be like, I can do that. I, some guy like, I can do that. I, I, I can do that myself. I don't need help. Right, right. That's true. I would have been like, no, you couldn't. No. <laughs> so, I thought, well, it's not going to keep me from, you know, I'm just, I have manners. I open the door for people. Them saying thank you is nice. They don't say it. sometimes. I'll be like, You're welcome. You know, just get through your head that the least you could do is say thank you because I didn't have to hold that door for you. So, yeah, it's just one instance of rude people, but there's them out there these days. And I don't know what the problem is, but they need to stop bringing it to work. Oh, uh, yeah. You want to give me shout outs to anybody that you know? Uh, let's see. Hmm. I don't know. Uh, I think somebody on your page might 
know my brother. He comments that he dates my sister. So, I don't know. Depending on why he asked, shout out to him. Get his name. <laughs> uh, he does my brother, so. And, let's see. Class 99. This is for you. Um. <laughs> what, 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 you're below me, my class. Yep. Yep, my brother graduated in 97. I was 99. And you were, yeah, you were 90. Wait, 97. 98. It's my, right? my name. That's in, it's in my name. Yes, there it is. <laughs> She's a blonde. <laughs> uh, well, I saw your video of the, the ear thing. Oh yeah, yeah. That's another thing. Um, if people would have something to say. Maybe you know. I mean, it's not like she's a baby. I didn't force her to do it. The five in February, we go to Walmart all the time. We go through the uh, interesting part, and I was asking her, "Do you want to get your ears pierced?" So I said no. So this time she said yes. He had to wait for this baby that could have been more than a month old to get her ears pierced, and she screamed. So my daughter had to see how painful it was, and she still wanted to do it. Nobody held her down. She got it done. She cried. She was over it in like 10 seconds. So I posted on uh, my Facebook page a video. And on my mom's Facebook page, well, she has some older friends who, I guess, have different views on, you know, what, how, what's the best age to uh, push your ears. So, one of them said, well, clearly she, so many words, clearly she didn't like it because she was crying, and that's too young. And I'm just thinking, maybe I'm your business. And I were said, um, she did willingly. Nobody forced her. She's almost five. I think it's a good age to do it anyway. And, and you, have you, know, the, you have evidence to you, you're holding her down. Yeah, exactly. And, like, I figured once the guy did one ear, she would chicken out and want the other one done, which would kind of suck. I guess I'd have to take that out and let it feel up because I don't want to walk around with one earring. But, yeah, I didn't, didn't have to hold her down or nothing. And people still have stuff to say. It's So the other ear is lighter than the first ear? Uh, yeah. I, I did the first time. It's like, oh. Yeah, you kind of know what to expect. It's like when you get your first like if I got my first try, I got my, uh, even I was like, uh, flu shot a few years ago, my flu shot in a long time, like, first time I did, I was like, I was holding, like, being down, you know, holding on my, like, now it's not so bad, but it's a little bit, I'm not, I'm not being normal. Right. Right, yeah. I mean, I think at this stage, you know, like, babies get shots and everything, they're, they, uh, what's the word, I guess, resilient. You know, it's like, see if they get over stuff, and they can handle stuff better than some adults do. You know, we'll be like, oh, my arm, where they took blood. You know, kids don't even think about it. They're like, oh, look at my cool band-aid. You know, over it. <laughs> Most adults were less resilient and still get a little faster or something. Yeah, they do. Yeah. The older I get, the... Let the uh, slower I heal because mosquitoes love me and they ate me this summer. I hate mosquitoes. I want them extinct. They're rude. <laughs> I, I, when I was a kid, I was this food change and apparently I found back 600 mosquitoes in, in an hour. Oh. Just get a little from bat to carry with you on a leash and then it himself around you. That's neat. Oh my gosh. And I've seen some flying around me, tell ya. Like, just you know, out of the blue. And at first I'll think it's a bird, and I'm like, no, oh, it's like 11 p.m., and I just know oh, it's a bat. I should definitely get one. 
they're creepy looking things, but I mean, it doesn't matter what I spray on me, mosquitoes will bite the crap out of me. Yeah. If you try, I haven't tried those things yet. Those uh, apparently there's a little like little force field things. I don't know if they work or not. Oh, uh, with um, yeah, like it's got like a little fan in it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah they're pretty expensive. That's why I never did try it, and I've seen where it, I think it only lasts like twelve hours. Like I didn't of course, last a lifetime. Of course, you know, not got a Is it an on-off switch? Oh. Um, I'm not sure. When I seen the price, I didn't look at it too hard. <laughs> You're not using that for 12 hours at a time. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Right. Hour here, hour there. Unless you're out camping or, unless you're out camping or something. Yeah. Uh, also, uh, anyways, I think a little article about this, uh, there's a home shelter in like South Carolina or something, I think. Mm-hmm. And... They, this group of uh, atheists dropped off, dropped off like a carrot, you know, and you don't want that, you're atheist. Wow. You have an agenda. So, like, dude, we're just trying to help the home, like, we don't care. Yeah, like, if there was some anthrax in there or something, that would be one thing, but, I mean, come on, like, so what, they're... They're atheists. They're trying to do a good deed. Yeah, it was soap and some, some soaps and candles, you know, and some toothbrushes and underwear. Yeah. How dare they? <laughs> I know, because they can't be good, nice people at all. Right, right. Yeah. Uh, they, you know, they hate God. I guess they care about people stinking and, you know, clean tea. They don't really hate God. Uh, yeah, well, that's true. They just just don't believe in them. <laughs> uh, oh, another thing. Uh, what, what do you consider a sellout? Um, depends on the uh, like. Give me an example. Like, well, this YouTuber I watch uh, a few weeks ago. I'll give uh, two weeks. Ago. She advertised this little cool app thing, you know, and I guess for, for the thing, you want to sell it because you're trying to make, she's making money off of YouTube, you know? But I don't consider it a sell you know, if you sell stuff you don't like life, like if like, I'm selling a can of advertising a can of peas, and I hate peas, like, I'm like, it's the best peas ever, give me money, <laughs> that, that is, might be, that'd be sell out. Yeah, I agree. Not, I agree. Not making money from something that they totally disagree with, and you touch it with your own hands. That's a yeah. Yeah, I agree with that definitely. You, you, yeah, you, you know, you ever, no, if you just can't talk, have you ever seen one that's sold out to anything like money? Um, hmm. Let me think. No, not really. Not that I can think of hey, I'm sure when we get off here, we'll be like, oh, yeah, that one, 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 that Oh, yes. Yes. I'm so popular. Oh. Oh, you're Twitter. Don't forget to check your Twitter. You might have to check your Twitter, you know, and give people a new fan on your Twitter. That is true. That is true. I have not been on there since we talked last. I completely forgot about Twitter. I'm just not a tweeter. But I guess I better get tweeting because I can't probably... 2,000 requests for like, oh my god, I see you on YouTube, you <laughs> go. Uh, <laughs> I was like, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> well, right. it's, it's been fun. I, t- tomorrow, I'm going up, up early and going to see my niece is getting married. Oh, what what part of the scene? Uh, like about, right near Gatlinburg, I think. Oh, I love Gatlinburg. Oh, it's going to be 
so pretty down there. And I'm gaining two, a, a new, uh, I'm going to get, I'm going to gain a step great nephew, step great niece. That is awesome. I think they're, my, my sister told me they were like 11 and 12. Okay. That's cool. Well, I hope you have fun and have a safe trip. Are you driving by yourself? No, I'm going to have my brother-in-law, my other niece, and his sister. Okay. That'll be cool, yeah. Be really, really pretty down there because I think it's like about this time when you know the colors really start to bloom in Tennessee. A little bit later in Ohio, but of course, but. yeah. But of course, you know, before the trip, but my, they cut my arrows back. Completely fine. That's happened to my savings account to for the, pay for the trip. Yeah. I was hoping. Of course, that's what I, what, what I was there for. You know this. For, yeah. <laughs> for you what, what you say for. <laughs> uh -huh. I try, to try not to touch yeah. it. Possibly. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. It'll be worth it. Is are you uh, taking vacation days from work? Well, we don't have we have vacation days. Oh, what do they call them? Yeah, I'm just working. Not getting paid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Go have fun, but you can't get paid. See you when you get back. Better be on time. <laughs> they asked me why you asked me back again. Like, like it's in Tennessee. It, 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 you run down there, come back in an hour. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I think uh, that one serves about, what, five hours or something? Well, 65 for straight, on a straight drive. Is yeah. That, including... <laughs> It's an hour to get. It's like an hour to Cincinnati. And it, 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 yeah. And that's what brings things. And yeah. All, and trap. Oh, uh, 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 traffic levels and that all slower traffic. That's true. Yeah. Mostly, it's uh, seventy miles an hour through Kentucky and most of Tennessee. But, yeah, I've been to Gatlinburg. I know it takes exactly seven hours to get to Lynchburg, Tennessee. Home of the Jack Daniels Distillery. Is, is, that, the, is that the place where, where they sell up, they can't, can't sell up because it's a dry county yeah. or something? Yep, it's a dry county. They, they make it there. That you can buy commemorative bottles in the little shop that they have there. You can't just crack it open and drink it. Like you have to take it and, you know, go. Do they have there's a, there's a liquor store, I think it's maybe, maybe 10 minutes away in a different county, but that's where everybody goes, you know, to, uh, when they leave there, because you're so thirsty. <laughs> so, so, like, you can get the snack here, but you can't drink it. Yeah, yeah, it's so weird, you know what I thought, like, it's so odd, it's weird, but, but, uh, every time I went there, I always go to Jack Daniel's grave and sit there and crack open a bottle and look around me, you know, make sure uh, you no know, uh, Lynch or Moore County cops were out there. That would suck. <laughs> yeah, uh, well, enjoy your weekend. I will. You enjoy the weather and everything and take some pictures. Um, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to a video there for my mom I can't go. So Aww. since it's her granddaughter. Yeah. All right. That's cool. All right. I'll I'll maybe I'll make some videos on on here next time you we'll close the on the way on on here. That's a good idea. All right. We'll see you all next time. Okay, bye. Carry on mom now. I'll always remember to enjoy the randomness. Always. Okay. Look, everybody, to, we're back finally after months of talking time with to, talking time with caffeine. My guest today is Think Paradox. 
Also known as Dr. McMahon, thank you very much for having me. You can see him on his uh, Think Predicts website or at Nerdly Rants on Twitter. Or you can just go to thinkparadox.cf and get all the links to social media and Patreon, etc. So oh, yeah, that's okay. the easiest bet. You're on Patreon now? Yeah, I'm, I'm sucking the Patreon cock. I'm begging for money like a hobo on the side of the street. Like, change! We'll do scientific videos for change! I thought about going to Patreon, but I don't have enough viewers for it to really matter at this point. Uh, I haven't even gotten a single donation, but I'm not really expecting much out of it. Even if I get 50 bucks, it'll be a shocker to me. It's like, 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 so what do you... Speaking of Patreon, that, that brings us to our topic today, networking. I've been networking a few guys. YouTube networking. Oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> well, at this point, YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook are pretty much all intertwined at this point. Yeah. Yeah, but like, at least for me, I've I've been trying to network with some people, and I found out that the smaller the network is, the better. Because well, the bigger network is good too, but you keep you can't keep up with networking of lots of people, because you forget about them. Have you ever tried networking with anybody? I actually do network with several people. Um, aside from the mundane Matt show. Uh, there's also Frozen Craft Glass, among other things like Veritasium and even SciShow. So we are networked and we're a partner of the Young Turks. So. Really? Mm hmm. Did not know that. I guess that's why I not see, too many do. I guess that's why I see your comments on their videos when I watch them. Yep. Um, there's also um, another TYT partner that is uh, paid by the Young Turks. Um, his uh, show is Secular Talk. So that's uh, something else to check out. If you're interested in the progressive sort of stance, you have Kyle doing that as well on Secular Talk on YouTube. Uh, cool. Like, like I said, uh, like I'm networking right now with uh, this Luxly on YouTube, he does some videos about the games I play, and he we, trying to he trying to get like a network going. And I come in all his videos. He comes on my videos, but he, but he's getting started getting popular now. So maybe so he might be I might get left behind soon. Cause he, cause unless you became friends, unless you're actual friends with the guy, he may not actually drop you if he in, enjoys your input. He may actually continue talking back and forth with you. This actually goes back to a hypothesis I spoke about in one of my previous podcasts. Uh, it's called the YouTube partner or YouTube comment uh, hypothesis. And this basically states that if you have somebody with a very high subscriber count, they're least likely to communicate back with you and respond compared to somebody with a low sub count, which increases the responding ratio exponentially. Yeah, that's why I guess why people with bigger subscribers accounts don't really talk. I don't want to say talk with people with lower subscriber counts. They they tend to stay in their own circles. Correct. Of course, then again, some people start together with small circles, and one person can get really popular, and another person can just stay behind. Mm-hmm. Well, it's like with the mundane Matt. Uh, you, you know mundane Matt. Yeah, right? I've. Been, I've I think I got. I think I found him. When he was like 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 five thousand or something, or less than five thousand. And now he's like mm. over ten thousand. Yep. Um, he actually responds to people. His excuse when he doesn't get to respond to you is much like everybody else's excuse when they're huge, is that they get so many comments to look through. They read them, but they don't actually respond to every one of them because they don't have time. And that's mundane, Matt. Um, I can see that happening in the future. Like, if I get extremely popular, I'll have so many questions I can't answer. Uh, that's another problem of like getting too big. Networking, you're so big that you can't comment on everyone. And that's why, I guess, you comment on the certain people who in the networking thing where you certain people you, you definitely want to comment on because they're like in your circle try to keep up with them at, le at least but I find the best way to keep up to date with the people you're networking with on YouTube is to just subscribe to them 
and stay with these people, even if their content isn't exactly your cup of tea. Like, for example, I'm not necessarily a gamer, but you don't always do Let's Plays and talk about video games. You do other videos. Yeah. I know that sucked that you had to cancel your, your Let's Play video for this channel that you had for a while. Yeah, it was all free-to-play, open-source stuff on Linux. Uh, you ever thought about uploading some of those videos on this channel? On your channel, I mean? mm, I don't have them anymore. Oh. Um, I'm not going to be doing them anymore anyway. Yeah, that's too bad. That's too bad. Maybe you could get some gamers into the logical, like, learning about stuff. Like, you draw them in the games, and also you talk about pff, scientific stuff. Well, that's the funny thing, uh, talking about scientific things. I mean, I'm a theoretical physicist, right? Yeah. And there's video games that dive into my field of science. You can think of one already off the top of your head, I'm certain. It begins with bio and ends with shock. Bioshock? Yeah, Bioshock Infinite. <laughs> the many worlds theory, uh, multiple dimensions going around the place uh, with uh, different realities, with different possibilities and happenings in those realities, and traveling back and forth between the various dimensions, quantum levitation, etc. That's all my field of science. Ah. So it's one of those things, I mean, there are video games that I can talk about, but in the case of something like Bioshock Infinite that's massively popular, it, I would just be beating a dead horse. So, you know, we gotta talk about the... Is there any science between... behind Zelda and Mario games? Or is it just... <laughs> Aside from the programming theory? Um, I can't really say. There's a there's a from game theory. There's this notion that the timelines with Legend of Zelda are split in different forks, like with the many worlds theory. Yeah. In that you have uh, Link as a child, where he's successful in defeating Ganon, and then there's a uh, Link where Link there, there's a world where Link doesn't end up being successful in defeating Ganon in the world's just, you know, SOL. Yeah, I know. That. That's just weird. Many roles. That's the same as multi-dimensions. Like, 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 time multi-dimensional, right? Like sliders and stuff? Yeah, the sliders is extra-dimensional. Wow. What's the difference? Mm, not really much. Oh. oh I anything you want, you want to talk about while we're he here? <laughs> I thought we were talking about YouTube networking. Do you have any tips for the users that wish to get into uh, the whole IKDN concept? Oh. Like I said, well, I say well, I'd say well, if you have real life friends on YouTube, start with them, especially if they're in the same boat as you. That way you, you know for sure they would get you for a while and then like I, said, like I said find people who are same size as you starting out with but you never, never know ask some people a little bit bigger than you not too much bigger because then they might want to network with you and my question to you is how exactly in the world did you find Think Paradox do you even remember yes it was. I think I joined the uh, mundane Matt, the mundane Matt Rancher Rancher on Google Plus thing. I s saw you there, and you were talking to him or something. Ah, uh, ah, uh, the YouTube Rancher group. Yeah. Right on. And that's another way you guys can uh, find out uh, other people who are looking into networking, is by going into various Google Plus groups or. Any groups for that matter. There's not just Google Plus, but Google Plus helps out exponentially because it's the Google product, meaning YouTube. Um, aside from that, you have Google Plus and Yahoo groups and everything else. You go into these groups for YouTube specifically for your kind of niche, like Mind Science, for example. Um, well, not just science. I do rants and opinions and stuff, but mostly science. And Regarding this, I look for other science sh uh, channels. You don't have to specifically go to groups. You can do this either way. You look for uh, my case. I look for a science group. 
and I'll promote my videos when somebody I see a question on those groups I'll answer the question in video format post it to the group and it'll get extra traffic and comments and likes etc and these people are more likely to share and you can do the same thing very similarly on YouTube by like for example again with science um, I will end up running into uh, science shows like SciShow, Veritasium, etc. And I'll just watch, I'll, just, I'll subscribe to these channels and I'll watch every one of their videos that they come up with and I'll comment on those videos with my two cents. I'll either answer a question that they ask the viewers, I'll ask them a question, or I'll make a comment uh, giving extra information about what's going on. And this has happened a couple of times, giving extra information, such as uh, on the, I don't remember the exact channel, I think it was Veritasium. Yeah, it was Veritasium. Um, they asked, what would happen if you were to fire a bullet in a block that was shot up into the air? Would it gain extra, uh, would the bullet go through it quicker, or would it go not too far? Would it create the extra spin on the block? What would happen? And he asked what would happen, uh, what the viewers thought. My hypothesis on this was wrong because he showed it in the next video. But I said it would go just basically shorter inside it in about equal distance. It's based on the block being shot up and being stationary versus the block spinning. Would the block spin quicker and how far would the bullet go? I was incorrect. Um, and there's another channel. Um, I don't remember the name of this one, I was talking about how reflections in a mirror actually show the opposite end, like your right side is your reflection's left side, for example, why that is. And they were saying it's due to how the uh, light shows an inverse image based on you. And my correlation behind this was that it's the photons going back and forth in a relative fashion based on your um, stationary or mo moving mo uh, motion. So it goes out and back in straight line. And that was the reflection. That was my comment. And I've gotten some subscribers from that. And you just basically comment on videos and subscribe and watch videos, etc. Just make relevant comments on videos in question. And that helps out building your viewership. Uh, Frozen Craft Blast, for example, on YouTube found me through a comment on some other channel. And uh, Vendelia1998 here found me through a Google Plus group. Yeah, I think I, for the clap I think I found him not through the group, but I, I think I found him because I was looking up Naruto stuff, and he does Naruto, he does Naruto things. <laughs> yep. I used to be in the Naruto about a few years ago. I haven't really watched it lately, but I should catch it back up on it again. Yeah, the thing is, he found me, so he he was commenting on my videos, and I just started, you know, I subscribed to him and started hanging out with him, too. So he became part of my circles. <laughs> yeah. So, Speaking of circles, uh, Think Paradox here does occasional hangouts. You, you could join him on, on those. He does open hangouts for people. And I also use the Q&A app so you can ask me questions while we're talking shit. Yeah. And don't be don't be afraid to, to connect to people that you don't have the common with like games or games and stuff or science you might learn something you might have to find out you actually have an interest in it if you actually give them a chance yeah and you can also increase your viewership views by making video responses to people I mean yeah. the new common system doesn't allow you to show the video responses under the, v the video anymore yeah. but you can still type in re colon and then the name of the title of the original video you're commenting on, and people will still find it. It still sucks to me, at least. You know, the thing you do about it that you can't make video replies anymore. You can't comment on the old comments. You only comment on the newer comments now. Mm -hmm. Ugh, that, that still sucks, in my opinion. But the only thing you can do about it, I guess. Oh. No, we're all it, 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 I like the new commenting system because it's, I think it's better to get a notification yeah. than to have to check the inbox. Yeah, I, I do like that. I, I like, like that part. I like that. If you want to, you can like tag people you want to comment too. Exactly. Like you can like 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 if I talk to you, I want like, if it plus think paradox in the comment section, and and you're notified that I've I've replied, I've commented to. You know, you know what I'm saying? 
Yeah, I get you. Yeah. Um, plus the old common system. I mean, I'd check the inbox and I'd be like, okay, I see the reply, but what the hell did I say in order to warrant that response? So I open up the uh, context tab or whatever, and it opens up a new page, shows a huge list of everybody's comments under the freaking sun, and I'm sitting here scrolling like, okay, uh, oh, that's what I said. It, it it takes too much time. Yeah. I, like I said, I do like then, like I do I do like new system better, but I wish I could reply to some old comments. You know that still that they're just dead now. They're they're sitting there out in YouTube space, never to be replied to again. For a second there, it looked like you were drinking a beer. <sighs> yeah. Someday, I'll get brave enough to do that on, on camera. But, but anyway, so I guess this about wraps it up today. Anything you want to say in closing about networking? Not particularly. So we're good. Right. You want to do some? Uh, what's the word? It's your video, your channel. What's what's the word? Uh, Call to action. Uh, no. Uh, oh, plug your plug your stuff before we go, and say your say your goodbye line. <laughs> I've already plugged it towards the beginning. All right. Well, did you want to say your little line? Don't need to. It's your video, your channel. Um. Well, he. Well, he's a he's a devil bitch. So. Oh, <laughs> uh, you want me to say that? <laughs> Too late. I already did. I'm the. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the devil bitch. And remember to always enjoy the randomness. See ya! Hello everybody out there, my name is Dr. McMahon with Think Paradox, and you're listening to Talking Time with Caffeine. And with me is our buddy Vandalia1998 here on YouTube, A-N-D-A-L-I-A 1998. Thank you very much for having me here. No problem. You know, usually know I talk a lot, but this time I'm giving the reins over to Glenn here. Oh yeah, because that's all because I'm the devil, bitch. Aside from that, I have various voodoo mind trick powers. Since I'm the devil, people got to understand that I got these weird things that I do. I constantly, constantly screw with people. Like, for example, these little cards here that say coexist. I, I'm the cause of these things too. But also on the cause of burying dinosaur bones. But let's forget that stuff. The, you know, the whole thing of trying to take you away from creationism. I, I, I know I'm the devil, but there's some other stuff that you don't know about me. For those of you who haven't figured this out yet, I'm obviously not Barack Hussein Obama. So you can stop claiming that Barack Obama is the Antichrist, people. That's just flat out right off the top. Kill it right there. He is not the devil. I am. Give credit where it's due. Um, getting into this uh, whole conspiracy theory thing, Mr. Vendelia, have you ever seen the YouTube video conspiracy theory chick that was freaking out about rainbows being shown inside of the water sprinklers? No, but I thought rainbows were just water fraction stuff from... Basically. It's the light refracting off the water droplets to show the visible spectrum of light through the electromagnetic radiation force, the very small sliver that we see. And that's a conspiracy, However, because why? <laughs> because there's this woman on YouTube. You can actually check this crap out right now. I'm trying to censor myself a tiny bit because I am the devil, but I'm not, I'm not a, the devil about it. I mean, come on. But this chick is in her backyard and she's got this sprinkler going on you know the old sprinklers where they uh, got this long board and it keeps going back and forth a big used to, used ball to, of water used to play them all the time as a kid jump back and yes, forth yes those right there she saw a rainbow in it and she was flipping the fuck out she's like oh but what's in the water we didn't see this when I was a kid and I have to wonder what they're putting in the water oh god and this chick was serious too, man, because there's all these people that are saying there's something in the water because you see rainbows and stuff. I'm there's like, something in the water. It's it's two parts hydrogen and one part oxygen. I yeah. They, they put I'll it tell in, you what's in, coming. And they put it in there. My, I saw them put them in there myself. 
I'll tell you what's coming out of it. Dihydrogen monoxide. <laughs> oh, will, it be, will it be dioxide? <laughs> or is it mon is it no, monoxide? No, it's monoxide. Oh, it's it's H2O. Dioxide oh. would be two atoms of hydro uh, oxygen. You're right. Di so if you had H2O2, you'd actually have hydrogen peroxide. So, is it, yes, so it's dihydrogen oxide. Dihydrogen monoxide. Oh, monoxide. Yeah. Mono, mon, mono being one, so you have one... Uh, molecule of oxygen with two molecules of hydrogen. So hydrogen, oxygen, dihydrogen monoxide. Which is fantastic. And there's people that have done radio shows where they were like, we got this stuff coming out of the sinks. It's called dihydrogen monoxide and, they, and the FCC would crack down on them because people would freak out. They're like, oh god, there's dihydrogen <laughs> monoxide coming out of the sink. <laughs> I guess if people think, they think monoxide, they think of carbon monoxide. They think that's oh, weird. carbon monoxide is just two parts carbon, one part oxygen. That's weird, though, how uh, CO, CO2 is good for plants, but, C, but C, just CO1 is bad, is bad for everybody. And you wonder why you can't eat charcoal on a daily basis. Yes. In I actuality, you, you can eat charcoal, but uh, carbon itself isn't that too bad for you. Don't go off and actually start eating charcoal like out of the bag for your barbecue. That's a different kind of coal. Um, Darn. <laughs> yeah, that's it, it, a completely different kind of carbon structure. Um, like for example, if you burn something, that's carbon. That burnt stuff. It won't necessarily hurt you. It just doesn't taste good. So, if you. You know, if you're watching this around Thanksgiving and your woman accidentally burns the beer, it's okay. You can still pick at the chicken and the turkey. Just don't ask me why the hell she had to burn the beer. Speaking of burning stuff, back when I used to go, back when I actually went to church, they actually tried to do a, a deep fried turkey one time. Yeah, oh, right. that's hilarious. <laughs> you ever done that before? I never deep fried a turkey. I've always baked them. I always take and slit the skin in various parts and stuff a whole tub of butter inside the turkey. And I also shove a huge beer can. It's not actually a beer can. It's a uh, Arizona iced tea can. And I fill it with uh, uh, Worcestershire sauce, liquid smoke, and all sorts of other juicy, del delicious stuff that you just want to put inside your face. That sounds delicious, actually. You shove it inside the turkey. And that can heats up and it starts to get all that moisture and everything inside and smokes the turkey from the inside with that stuff. So, if you ever if you're ever in the Ohio area, we can do a, we can do a cooking segment. <laughs> like, no problems there. Just keep in mind, my turkeys take about four hours to cook. Minimum. What's the magic of editing? And <laughs> we cut ahead. Oh, why even bother doing that? I can have eight hours on my channel. <laughs> just have a full eight hours of me cooking a turkey. Like, just show the tur or four hours of me cooking the turkey. And it's just straight on the turkey waiting for it to cook. Watch the turkey cook. Like, it's physics. Like, no time lapse for you. <laughs> Here. We'll call uh, on here. Get this. Get this. We'll call it the cooking simulator. Here, on the hour of three, minute four, we can we can see the temperature go up one degree in the inside turkey. Oh no! No commentary. Uh, no commentary. At all. You let them watch it because they're the ones cooking the turkey in their simulation. Ah. Uh, yeah. You see. That way, people who live in really shitty conditions that don't have an oven or can't buy their own turkey, they can still cook their own turkey, but they, I mean, they, they can't eat it, but they can still have the experience of cooking it. Which brings me to my next point. Regarding conspiracy theories, there is a conspiracy theory about electricity. More specifically, uh, they're saying that there is a quantum battery, one that runs off of virtual particles that pop in and out of existence, that lasts for eternity, and that a certain someone had sold this battery, and it's being silenced and quashed for big coal and big oil, so that they can continue selling batteries that 
lose charge. I shit you not. And this is like one of those stories where you got these reptile things where, you know, the whole Anunnaki's, the whole reptile beings hiding, people that have watched They Exist were like it was a religion. That the Rupert Murdoch is not a reptile from the future or the past or another dimension. He's not a reptile at all. He's just a really big, stupid, idiot asshole, okay? Reptiles are smarter than Rufus Murdoch, in my opinion, at least. There's people that claim that I am a fucking reptilian, and I'm like, I'm not a reptilian, I'm the devil. How can you screw that up? I mean, yes, I know, I look like I'm a human, and when I'm in human form, I'm pretty drop dead sexy if I don't say so myself but <sighs> yeah I can't get over how hot I am I right, fuck me oh, oh wait we're still on my bad um anyway yeah there's this reptilian thing don't worry about it and no the IRS isn't reptilians don't worry about that the Black Knight isn't a secret government agency satellite that's been around since Nikola Tesla and before to fuck with you. And I'm going to leave off with this. 9-11 was not an inside job. It was not a bomb. I know what you think about jet fuel. It can't, can be combusted by applying flames. When you have a jet flying into a freaking building at high velocity, enough to be able to keep the air pressure below the plane higher than above it to create lift and forward thrust, you end up having a, the ability, if it was to smash into concrete, mortar, and rebar, it would create enough pressure to ignite the engine fuel. And I'm a physicist, so you're, I mean, the devil, so you're welcome. Any last words there, Mr. Vandalia? Nope. Uh, uh, this, uh, oh, a question for you. Any conspiracies that you ever believed in? Or you... Have I ever believed in any particular conspiracy theory? Or, or, or like, thought was, not believed, thought, like, it's, it's, it, that was so stupid it's, it's cool or something like that? Mm, that's a good question. Did I ever personally believe in any conspiracy theories? Um, yeah, I used to be a Christian. Um, I used to think homeopathy was real medicine. What's I that? used to think um, homeopathy is a old medicinal thing, which isn't really medicine. What they would do is they would take like for say an herb or a poison or something and they would put it like a drop inside of a jug of water and they go chuk, 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 shake it up and then they'd put, dilute it again by taking a drop out of that putting it in another jar of water diluting it and they do this ten times the idea was that the more diluted it was the more powerful it was so if you think about homeopathy in this way based on how they do it, it's like taking a grain of rice, crushing it into a piece of, uh, into a thing of powder and then diluting it into a sphere of water the size of the fucking solar system the sun in the middle with the Oort cloud all the way at the end and you have homeopathy Is that the same as like leech medicine, leeches and stuff? Uh, no, 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 leeches actually have a use Ah. Like if if and here's the thing, leech is a parasite, but they excrete an enzyme that prevents your blood from being able to clot, so they can just keep going. Nom, 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 nom. So people that have blood clots, like a, a blood clot in their leg, doctors still will do leech therapy in order to prevent the blood from clotting in that area. Nice. So they're double agents. Here's another one that's a double agent: are maggots. Maggots are a great double agent. Because if you have a maggot that gets into your, or like a lar fly larva egg that gets in your eye or another part of your body, 
they'll actually burrow into you and try to eat your eye and shit. However, you can use maggots and throw maggots on top of a wound, and it'll clean and sterilize the wound. Oh, that reminds me of another conspiracy I remember in science class about how people used to think that bread or meat turned into maggots back in the day. Oh, yeah. I remember that. The experiment was that they had uh, a piece of meat that was put inside of a two, uh, two pieces of jar, or two pieces of meat put into uh, two jars, not two pieces of jars. <laughs> wow, I messed up. But they put that, okay, yeah, I'm going to stick with my original saying. They had a piece of meat they took, in, they took and put into two pieces of jars. There we go, we'll just stick with that one. And I'll, I'll roll with it, I'll roll with it. They put it in two pieces of jars. <laughs> and they on one it was left uncovered, and on the other one they had a loose mesh screen. And they found that the meat would have maggots on both pieces of meat. Because the flies can lay eggs to the screen. And here's another one that you guys can check out. Pouring Coca-Cola on pork produces tapeworms. On this, on what? Pouring Coca-Cola on pork products, like a pork chop. Ah. If you uh, uncook, if you have a raw uncooked pork chop and put it inside of a pan and you pour Coca-Cola on top of it and just let it sit, it's allegedly going to have these worms come up. I got the cook. You got the pork chops? <laughs> nope. I don't eat pork. Ugh. Darn. We're gonna try, let's see if we can do it right now. Nope. Um, the problem with this is that there are chances that this will happen. But there's people that are saying, oh, it's always going to happen. It's always going to happen. No, it's not always going to happen. There's a thing called pork tapeworms. If you cook your pork thoroughly you're not going to get a pork tapeworm, which if you don't cook it properly, you can get a pork tapeworm in the rain, causes migraines and seizures and even death. Yeah. Darn it, I like eating my, my all my meat medium rare, or very rare. You should cook fish and pork thoroughly. Um, and they don't realize that if you freeze your pork, or your fish for that matter, if you freeze pork or fish you can eat that shit raw without cooking it, and you'll never get a parasite because it kills the parasite. So freezing or or very thorough cooking? Yeah. Ever, it kills the parasite. Uh, you ever ate frozen chicken or fr frozen fish or whatever that, what you said? <laughs> I've eaten sushi in the United States. It's required to have it pre-frozen before they use the raw fish. Ah. Which is pretty delicious. I mean, I like sushi. the California sushi rolls. I've had sushi before. It was Ohio sushi, but I don't think it was. I like the sushi that has the cream cheese in it because it's extra Satan. So it's like a slice of hell right there. It's just like Mama's cooking. Oh, Mama, I miss her. God rest her zombie bones. Oh, before we go, you want to say anything about your friend that that passed away? I would much rather not. I've already said enough about that on my own YouTube channel, right. and I would rather not continue the discussion. Okay. On that topic. <laughs> I already went to his funeral today, and that's about it. Yeah. Uh, I understand. All right, well... Anything else you want to talk about then? No, we're good. All right, then. This has been Glimping Man, a.k.a. Think Paradox. You see his website down below. Check it out. I'm the devil, bitch. All right. See ya. And remember to enjoy the randomness. Hey, everybody. It's Vendai 98 and welcome to another episode of Talking Time with Caffeine. Today I'm drinking some caffeine V8 stuff. Apparently it has 80 milligrams of caffeine in it. Who knew? Anyways, today, my guest today is... Well, introduce yourself. Well, hello, my name is Forty Splish Splash, and thanks for having me here, talking to you and uh, together with Vandelia. It's really nice. 
Hi. <laughs> uh, hey, nice to have you here. Well, the main topic today is shout outs. And I brought Forty on here because, well, he does the shout outs for a while now. That is true. I, I have been doing that for quite a very long time, honestly. I When I started out my channel about two years ago, I think so, on YouTube, uh, I guess a few months uh, into that, I felt that I wanted to do something, you know, to interact with more YouTubers and reach out there. So I started out this series and now I have been doing, let me think, six, yeah, 68 episodes. So it's been a, a long journey, really, and a lot of fun, of course. So have you, do people get a lot of attention from your shout outs or just like a medium amount or hardly at all? Uh, well, I think it has been a bit up and down, honestly, due to several things, of course. Uh, it depends on, first of all, how many that are watching the actual vid and uh, of course, what people, you know, when they go into their channels, if what kind of content they like and everything. But I think I have I've had a lot of feedback and a lot of guys have, have been very, you know, uh, glad about the, the shout out and said that they've got the help from it. Uh, but again, I what I try to do is to, again, reach out in the vid and really ask for people to go in there and, you know, support the channels that are up in the shout out. Uh, so, you know, you just do what you can do and hopefully, hopefully everyone uh, it's not too lazy <laughs> and really go into the channels, you know, and show support. That's the idea, right? So, yeah. So, uh, have you, how many channels have you been, have people, have you returned the favor to you or have you, people, have, do you, or do you know? Um, regarding shout outs, you mean? I mean, doing a shout out back or something. Is that what you're thinking about? Well, or? I, I mean, uh, and people have done a shout out. On you yeah right yes that have happened actually quite a few times and I'm really happy about that of course uh, spontaneously people have been you know coming back to me and oh thanks for the shout out man and you know I'm starting up my own series and I really wanted to make a shout out for you as well so yeah it has been uh, happening quite a few times and that's great yeah. that's great yeah I tried doing a shout out a few what, last month and I just couldn't get it going that well okay yeah well you know it is it is um, first of all doing shout outs it depends on how you do them what kind of you know how you uh, do it in the vid and uh, but it does take a lot of time uh, the way I do it regarding both like a gameplay and uh, going into the actual channels checking out their content uh, you know <clears throat> sorry taking a you know a look around to get my opinion of what they're doing and trying to to put up that message to the viewers uh, it takes a lot of time so uh, yeah I understand where you're going it can be time-consuming <laughs> compared to other series that you might do on a channel uh, but you know you should you should do it if you want to do it um, I, I think that's really important to say it's uh, you can wait also you don't have to do it now and uh, there are also other ways to interact with other people on YouTube I think uh, this is just one way yeah so what made you decide to want to do shout outs uh, I think that I was looking for a series to start a series because at that time in the beginning with my channel a few months in I was mainly doing you know random gameplay commentary uh, multiplayer gameplay and such and I was thinking that I want to start a series and I do think I was just you know scrolling around a bit <laughs> checking YouTube what's up what kind of series people are doing and I saw that someone was doing a shout out series so I checked that out and I felt that way this is a good way, you know, to, to first of all, help other people out as well, hopefully, and also to, you know, start to interact uh, with other people doing the same thing, doing gaming and stuff. So, therefore, I started and, uh, yeah, ever since, like, one, one and a half year ago from now when I started talking about uh, now, 2014, I see that there's a lot of, lot of different channels that have started up their own channels here. So, it, it's... it's uh, it's a good trend, I think. 
All right, so, all right, cool. So, any topic you want to talk about? As long as I have you here. Yeah, sure. We uh, talk about I mean, topics all the time. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I want to, I want to ask you a question if I can do that. Sure. Thank you. Okay, so I want to know uh, how you started up on YouTube. I, I, I got a glimpse of it. I've seen some of your early vids and such, but tell me a little bit. What what, what made you start this up? Well, f first, I was, uh, before I started YouTube, I was a, a photographer and videographer for my friend's band who was going up. And I was going to do like behind the scenes stuff for the band, but then I we felt not fell apart, but we like live in two different, like t 20 miles apart, so it was hard to get together all the time. And then I was going to do some uh, little videos at, for my puppet shows for, for my kids at my church, but then I something happened there, and I left there, and I got angry, and I and I did my second video was like a an angry rant video that I made. Ah, oh, okay. And that started That's... it. First, I was this doing angry rants <laughs> then I started doing some uh, singing and comedy and then it grew from there wow that's nice to hear <laughs> that's the kind of you know yeah I, I know a bit about that you know you were filming and, and stuff uh, do, do you still uh, still do that do you have it as a hobby or do you do it occasionally or I haven't done, I haven't done any photography for a while but I still like doing it I haven't really have any, had anything to photograph in a while Oh, okay. I didn't really any big events. Okay. Of course, now yeah, I, I have a, I have a, uh, I have a new niece and nephew growing up, so I can start doing that. <laughs> of course, you have to do the documentation there, right? Yeah. It's going to be a lot of stuff to do to cover that, you know, when when the child is, you know, growing and everything. So well, yeah, one's almost a year, and one's almost two years old now. Oh, great. That's that's nice. Good for you. Yeah. So, yeah. But other than that, I think uh, we, we talked about regarding the shout out series. I just want to say that I also think that another sort of good spin off effect or what, whatever you want to call it, it, it might be that, you know, you since networking is such a trendy word nowadays that you network between channels and stuff. This is also a way to to find people that you want to network with. Uh, not only the YouTubers that have their shout out in the actual shout out vid, but also, you know, people that have the same common interests in the comment section. So I think that's a way also to find ways to, you know, maybe grow your channel together or help and support each other. Because again, it's you know as well, it's 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 hard to to get uh, to get out there to get your vids out there, recognition and 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 to to make it happen. So. Therefore, I think it's even more important to, when there's time and, and, and a place that you support each other to help, you know, be possible. So, yeah. Yeah, I'm glad you agreed regarding that. <laughs> oh, yes, kidding. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Look about an hour ago. <laughs> right. Uh, so, if you, like I said, so you, do you. Th do you think your shoutouts have helped the people you've shouted out? I do think so, yes. Again, I've had a lot of feedback from people over the year or one and a half year I've been doing it. Uh, and uh, yes, uh, another thing that I've seen, as I mentioned earlier, is that, uh, you know, a lot of the channels that I have been given a shout out have started up their own shout out series so in a way it has been like a double <laughs> effect of it in a way and uh, because I, I counted a bit I was checking out my papers the other day and I think I have visited during this period of time doing this series I have visited over 1000 YouTube channels and I have given shout outs to over 300 channels I think nice. so yeah, it's quite a lot actually, <laughs> and uh, again, a lot of work, but it's been fun to do it. So yeah. <laughs> Have you had any like negative uh, events from the, your shoutouts? Any like? Yeah, well, a few, of course. You know, uh, it's like you know, 
people are different and most of the people react positive both uh, regarding uh, the actual shout out for another YouTuber, you know, they show their support. Sometimes people have become a bit disappointed because I can just tell you that um, doing shout out bids, if you check out different channels, you will see that there are different kind of thinking regarding this. Some YouTubers may have some special requirements in order to get a shout out. Uh, when I started up my channel and I started this series, I just said that if you want a shout out, make a comment and I'll give you a shout out, right? Yeah. Uh, when this this series were growing, uh, I, I felt that in order to sort of uh, make to to uh, gr make it even better in a way, I felt that I had to have something to tell the audience, uh, you know, what they what they should do in order to get a shout out. But for me, it hasn't been to ask for a sub or something. It has just been that uh, you should have good vid and audio quality, like HD. You should. Uh, uh, upload at least two times uh, a week on your channel. You should have at least 10 bids up on your channel because you want to see that there's some, you know, regular regular content coming up. Um, also a way to see some variation for me when I go in and, and take a look. And uh, so, yeah, that, that was a, a way to, to uh, try to even improve it furthermore and to stimulate and, and tell tell you guys well here you have a sort of goal maybe to to work for okay sorry i was talking a long time <laughs> <laughs> yeah whenever i i, I fall i go to a shot video and i see with, i i follow them i do the whole uh triathlon i, I subscribe to them i google plus them and then and i twitter i twitter them too i twitter follow them too it's, i go all out <laughs> yeah 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 I mean, I just want to say there are different ways of doing the shoutouts. There are different ways of, of like the requirements. And I say there, there's definitely no right or wrong to do it. It's really up to you or the YouTuber that is actually doing them. But I do think the main goal we have to, for me, it has always been the purpose of it all from the beginning and where we are today is to help other YouTubers. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. if, if I get a positive effect from it, meaning that people want to, to subscribe to my channel because they like the, the content that I'm providing, that's fine. That's a great bonus for me. But again, it's the focus in these vids are or on, on other people, you know, other YouTubers. I just want to say that because, yeah. Yeah. Like I said this before, I, was, I, did, I tried shout outs, wasn't very good at them. But I still wouldn't network with people. I, I think this show right here is a good way. I think I'm trying to network with people with this show here. I totally agree. And I, 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 I agree. I think there are so many ways to, to support and uh, to do things for other people. And yes, this is also a good way to do it. And I like this series, Vandali. I want to say that I've seen some of your other, uh, you know, bits talking to you. You have something together. A lot of vids uh, to, together with another guy uh, here on YouTube, don't you? Or who is he? I forgot his name. I'm sorry. Uh, Think Paradox. Thank you for filling in. That's right. I enjoy them. Good stuff. Thanks. Yeah. I'm yep. sure he he enjoy it. hear you say that. Yeah, yeah. I, I've I've uh, I saw him in the comment section also. I answered him and and uh, yeah, I enjoy watching you guys. You're doing a good job. Thanks. Yeah. Uh, so so like I said. So my, my uh, series monitor is randomness because I, if you notice, I have uh, different videos about different things. And I, I'm never really down the one subject. What about you, are you like specifically one thing, or are you random, random too? Quite random, actually. Uh, it depends on. Sometimes I am very much into the actual gameplay. You know, like if there's a special game, I talk mostly about that. But I also think that one thing that I did quite early with my channel and in my vids was to try to interact with the audience. You know, maybe I felt that I had like maybe one, two, three questions or subject that I wanted to talk about and just to answer, you know, or throwing out questions to, you know, the people watching to, to have some interaction and feedback, you know. So, yeah, I, I've been working with a lot of randomness as well. <laughs> it's fun to do that. I, I totally agree. Because you never really know where it's gonna end, you know. Yeah, like I said, I never like keeping one. I I get bored of one subject. 
true, then you have to change it. You know, you go into another direction and, and maybe from left to right and something new happens. I, I totally like that. It's it's fine. <laughs> uh, well, any other subjects you want to talk about? Any like, topics like like world events or anything like that that you, that you want to bring to, to audience attention? Well, um, a, a question that I get quite regularly uh, has it has to do with the shout outs I guess a bit is that you know people are asking how to grow a channel and you know how to get more subscribers and, and views up blah 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 so uh, I don't have like a, a golden answer in the box <laughs> regarding that but what I can say is that I think it has to do a bit with, with what you and I are doing now you know reaching out uh, working together a bit here and there, trying to find new audiences, uh, new subjects, uh, uh, network, find to enlarge in your, your way of where you're going with what you're doing. And uh, especially nowadays because uh, it's really, YouTube is uh, it's a big place with a lot of people. So, you know, it's even more important now than it was for maybe just 10 years ago, I guess. Was YouTube around 10 years ago? Excuse me? Was YouTube around 10 years ago? I'm just guessing. Uh, that was a random thing for yeah. me. <laughs> I'm not sure. I think so, wasn't it? Or, I yeah? Should, I think I, I think I started my channel like 2006 or seven. I'm not sure. So yeah? It might have been around before that. And yeah. When I first started YouTube, I thought it was just for uh, watching pirated videos or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> that's shows. great. Oh, that's, that's great, you know. And that's the fun thing about YouTube as well. You can find like everything. You know, it uh, can be about a certain, uh, what, what can it be about, uh, you know, a car freak, a guy that likes just to talk about a certain car or something or uh, comics or, you know, gaming, of course. But there's so many things coming up. And uh, I've been also, you know, when I have something that I want to check out, if I want to learn something, I've just maybe just put that in YouTube and see, okay, of course, there's one guy that have done a vid about whatever subject it might be. So what do you think about that? It's kind of interesting, right? Yeah. A question for you. Was there anybody who's when, you, when they subscribe to you, you're like, oh my god, they subscribe to me? Wow. <laughs> if, if I uh, sort of felt that reaction, uh, yeah, well, a bit. I mean, I, I've seen that uh, some of uh, some of some larger channels has also subscribed to me, and uh, that's fun. Of course, you you get some recognition a bit. So yeah, mine was like my, it was like she was one of, one of my first ten subscribers back when I was starting out in two thousand nine. There was these yeah. uh, two girls who were, who were on Nickelodeon show. Yeah, and. Uh, they they're doing a YouTube channel and I, I made a video reply to them and they subscribed to me. I'm like I'm like like I'm like I'm like wow. That's really nice. Yeah, you see, and that is something I want to say. When you tell me this, I want to say you know you can always ask. You can always ask whatever. All you can get is a no, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah, uh, I even asked. They just, I made a video reply and they just boop. I liked it. They liked it. <laughs> Good. You see, then it was like you know. Super. Yeah, yeah, the thing I hate about the new YouTube though is they get rid of the video replies. Well, we can talk about that for a long time <laughs> because I, I was, uh, I mean, you know, just when they changed the whole uh, layout and everything, people were raging all over YouTube. I mean, changes are always causing, you know, people, yeah. you know, I mean, I like different some, opinions. But yeah, I like some of the changes, like like the new comp. I do like the new comment section where you can tag people in the in the comments. You know the plus Google Plus thing. You can actually yeah. so you can talk to them. Target. That's true. But I don't like, like I said I don't like the fact that you can't reply to the old comments anymore. At this. It, yeah, I, I know exactly. That's a that's a thing that was kind of weird that they weren't uh, that that is gone. I mean it's yeah, it's too bad. And like I said, you can, technically you can't reply. You video replies you had to do it in the comment section now. It's just all the old video replies that you had before. It's just. Gone. Yeah, I, yeah, I know. It's hard to find also a bit. I mean, uh, for me, it was a bit easier to to keep track also when you got him in the you know your inbox. Uh, yeah. That was helping me out at least. So uh, did, you, did you ever do any video replies to anybody? 
Uh, actually, no. I haven't done that so much. Oh, did uh, anybody do to you? Anybody re reply to you? Yes, a few times. A few times, yes. I mean, that's nice. That's nice. But I, I'm not sure if it's that common, if it's yeah. been, like, becoming a thing. I think that's how I... I, I, I I think that's how I got my first hundred subscribers to oh. do replies. That's good. That's good. When well, then you have a good tip to the to you know all the guys watching here that uh, maybe that's the way to go as well. Yeah. You know, well, if, like it. Yeah, it would be if it's still around. But <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. Uh, yeah. All right. Well, oh. any other any other thing to talk about? Or well, I don't know. I'm, 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 I'm just having a good time here, sitting, talking to you, and also listening to what you're saying. So, yeah, like I said, uh, I'm just chilling. Yeah, I'm just out of, <laughs> out of ideas now. So, <laughs> me too. Me uh, too. So, then I guess you want to say anything before we go, like any plugs or anything. I want to say thank you for having me on your channel as a guest. Uh, I really like being here and uh, guys check out Vanelia. It's a nice channel, 98. Do that, subscribe to him and all that sweet stuff and I hope to see you soon again. Yeah. Check, all right. Check out his channel up above, Twitter down below. All right. I hope this helped to have you in, as a guest again someday. I hope so too. Thanks a lot, bro. I and as always, enjoy the randomness. See ya! <sighs> Welcome everyone to another episode of Talking Time with Caffeine. On my right, yeah, my right, my, or left, I'm not sure which direction this is facing. You know him, he's been on the channel before. Dr. Glidman Man, Think Paradox, aka The Devil. Thank you very much for the grandurious introduction there. And then, one of these days, I'll spare your soul when you're burning in hell. I'll give you the only place with air conditioning. And on my other side, you, you've seen my channel before, but I've been on his. Snick1990. Uh, an appearance that's long overdue. You, you may have seen me on his, or heard, heard my voice on his Kingdom Hearts Let's Play last year and it will the next video will not process for some reason so I gotta figure out why uh, have you tried beating it with a hammer maybe I should try beating it with a hammer good old ingenuity it works really well hit it a few times it might start working speaking of which I'm about to take this chat room out back and shoot it like old yeller nice is that rabies Oh, uh, no, it's our chat. Ah. Uh, thought maybe it got a little fight with a, with a wolf for a cow and... had to shield the children's eyes. So, anyways, the first thing I'm talking about is... Snix, you've been away from YouTube for a while, but apparently you have made your grand return. Yes. Because my computer was all messed up would run really slow, would do as, as much things it, as it used to do, and it ultimately just gave out. So we had to repair, we had to give a lot of repairs to it. Cost, didn't cost as much as I would think, but we, um, I upgraded it to a Windows 7, and installed new drivers into it, and right now it's great. What do you have before? If you if you're upgrading Windows Seven, what? You... I had XP before. Oh, that's been a. I thought that's been a while. That's like two, like two, it's like two or three Windows back there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so you've got a new review coming out now. Yep. Yeah, um... I uploaded the first review onto a separate channel, but then I think I'm going to just upload it onto my main channel because it's not as easy to get all your fans to flock over to another channel as I thought it would be, so just put everything all in one place, keep it simple. Glenn, you, you have two channels, don't you? Or three, more than one, you used to, at least you used to. 
Um, I used to have uh, multiple channels myself. I used to do not only Think Paradox, but the Poke Christian and a couple of others, including a Let's Play. But I found it extraordinarily difficult to maintain each and every single channel that I had, so I'm just combining everything into one. And I've changed yeah. uh, the podcast to the Mad Scientist. Probably they're recording. Oh. Yeah, it's because they're recording. Parents. Hold on, I shall return. Uh, parents. <laughs> Anyways, so for another topic I, today, then. So, what do you know about reboots and stuff? That. Um, aside from the fact that it's required from time to time in order to breathe new life into old shows, there's been numerous reboots of a variety of things, including even comic books, uh, which is where the reboots were starting off, where I remember. Um, you'd have reboots of the Justice League, of Superman, and all that. And then on TV shows, you'd have reboots of various different shows, including a 3D animated show called Reboot. Uh, I remember that. Is that, is that the one about the uh, computer people and the computers? Yep. That would be them. Uh, I remember that. Uh, I was thinking about that. I, how f do you think there's an appropriate time limit between, re between reboots? Like, I don't think there's an appropriate time between any of them. It's just whenever you want to breathe new life into an old story. You would re just restart it and give the characters more unique features yeah. uh, that they didn't have previously. True. And then, like, for example, Superman used to be able to add super in front of anything else and call it a new power, like super weaving skills and super this and super that. And it just became to a point where it was ridiculous, so they had to reboot Superman. Uh, and the, you know, the thing about retcons? Mm. Oh, well, I think that's like, it's, it's like a similar reboot, but it's something that's just a little bit different. Like retelling the story, they tell they tell a little bit different than the last time they told it. Usually, it's a little bit different. There's something that's yeah. changed in it. Yeah, I mean, it's not just a new outfit for the characters and or new partners or anything. It's a new backstory and and some sometimes there's they, the story say most ways the same like. You don't have uh, Batman right, come okay, back sorry. in a reboot and all of a sudden, welcome back. And you don't have Batman come back in a reboot and all of a sudden, you know, the storyline has changed where his parents were never killed behind the theater. Yeah. Uh, so there's always something that stays yeah. pretty much the same well, regarding like, the central. You know, you know Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, right? You've, I'm sure you guys heard of them. Oh yeah, we've heard of TMNT. Well, like the latest reboots of them turning out to be space aliens. That was that was interesting. I know, like in some, like like Splinter, in some incarnations, he's a rat became a human type, but another person, he's a he's a human became a rat person. Um, the original was that um, Hiroko Saki or whatever the Splinter's original name was. Um, he had come in contact with uh, a rat. Yeah. Before he came across the ooze that made yeah. him more rat like, and the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles came into contact with the ooze, but they came in contact with a human, which is yeah. Rochosaki. Yeah, that's the one I, I grew up with. But then, in like, in the when I, when the cartoon versions and in the movie versions, it was he was a rat. And he became he, he was like the, he was a rat that was a pet of the, of the, of the Rochosaki instead of Rochosaki himself. Yeah. Yeah, I, I like but the. the in the original cartoons, if, so when it first started out, the first five episodes uh, revealed that Splinter was actually the human, or Rokosaki, or whatever his name was, I don't remember. Yeah, I prefer that. And so, I prefer that version better. But speaking of turtles, like, since I've been alive, I've, there's, there's been at least three different cartoon versions of it. They're on the third one now. That, that's true. It's like, uh, oh, and then Spider Man, when they had, just came out with a with the, that third trilogy was like what, like what five years ago or six years ago, and then now then they made a, already made a, two two new movies. Mm -hmm. 
And regarding Spider-Man, um, in the recent reboots of Spider-Man, you have Spider-Man that shoots web from his actual arm and comes out of his body. Um, in the some of the old cartoons and comics of Spider-Man, he he had the knowledge after being bitten by the radioactive spider to be able to create uh, synthetically the uh, you know he, he was able to synthesize the material needed for cartridges for the web. That's why in some of the old cartoons you'll see him change cartridges in this thing on his wrists. Oh. That's where his web's coming from. Which is also supposed to dissolve after 30 minutes but then there's reboots that state that it doesn't dissolve and others say that it dissolves after a few hours. And then there's that Wolverine thing too where the different claws, different versions. Do not talk crap about Wolverine or he will chop your nuts off. I mean... I'm not talking about. He's he's pretty cool, but like in some things he has a. I think in some one well, original one he had like, like a fake claw or something, and then later he got bones or metal claws, and then bone metal claws. I'm not sure how they, they did. The, the original story behind Wolverine was that he was experimented on, and he had no memory whatsoever. But. It was hinted that he his the experimentation that was done on him was due to his uh, regenerative mutagenic ability. Yeah, I think it's not his real power is self healing or something. Not the yeah, his, his actual power is insane regeneration, but he also had claws to start with. Ah. So it would make sense that after the experiment, it, it would go from being bone claws to being a uh, adamantium claw. Because when you have the adamantium injected into the bones of this kind of mutant, because there's multiple uh, that have his mutant um, abilities, but when you have it injected into the person and it uh, molds over their bones, it creates a new uh, kind of adamantium that allows you to continue with red, bu uh, red blood cell production and things like that. How about you? How the hell do I know that? <laughs> Lots of spare time, I guess. Uh, I guess so. So, what about you, uh, Snick? Any uh, cartoons that that what? you've any cartoons that you've seen that that's been re revamped or TV shows or movies? No, not really. Uh. But you were talking about Spider-Man a lot while it was going, right? Yeah. Well, on the topic of Spider-Man, that's my next review: Spider-Man on the PlayStation. The original PlayStation? The original. In fact, I have the opening planned out. You saw the ending of the first review, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be a continuation where I'm held up at gunpoint again, and then I'm going to be like, okay, 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 I'm going to... Here's how I'm making it up to you. I'm going to review another childhood favorite of mine, but this time it's going to be one everybody loved. I, I, think, yeah. every, I think everyone loves Spider-Man. <laughs> Well, let's see, the, the PlayStation game, Spider-Man, did get really good reviews at the time, because it was one of the first 3D superhero games that was actually good. Yeah. Like, before that, we had yeah, like, Batman and Robin and Superman 64 with all stuff. Let's see, Venom, Venom doesn't like Spider-Man, neither does the, does, does the producer, the editor of the Boogle, he doesn't like Spider-Man either, or, or uh, Carnage doesn't, he doesn't like Spider-Man. Oh, really? Or the Rhino, or uh, any other villains. Yeah, they all hate him. Well, then they, well, then they can hold me up at gunpoint that <laughs> at least the, most of the fans won't. Uh, hey, Glint, or aka hmm. Devil Dude. Uh, um, this, do you know Spider-Man ever, ever had like a main big villain like Superman did? Uh, the main original villain? Um, let's see. The original villain for Spider-Man was the uh, Green Goblin. Uh, I think. Okay. So like in Superman, I think it's always most most of the time it's Lex, Lex Luthor is the big, big big villain. Not, not, not the biggest villain, but he's like always the main antagonist most of the time. Yeah, typically speaking, most of the crap that goes around with Spider-Man can be seen as uh, some sort of offshoot. 
But it's not like a, a, a corporation like you see with Superman that's going after him most of the time. Um, you have, like the Superman story itself, you have the other Kryptonians that were coming down to try to take over the Earth and re-terraform it or whatever have you, yeah. depending on the reboot. And then you have the corporation. Then you also have a Spider-Man, you have the corporation, but you have all these other people that are on their own as well. Yeah. So I guess you can say it's kind of like an Iron Man motif as well, um, except for the major corporation is the main good guy as opposed to the bad guy, and everybody else is just people that have either been screwed over um, based on their technology, not you know, not getting credit for their technology or not getting the finances from it, and they're coming back to get some revenge by kicking some ass and taking names. Yeah. Of course, they get as different universes, Marvel and DC, too. Yeah, yep. I heard that. What up? Uh, the, oh yeah, that Marvel had they, the Spider-Man people had to randomly. had to remake the, the Spider-Man movie really fast, or, or they'd lose their uh, uh inter their but, uh, what's that word I'm looking for? One earlier. The afternoon when I woke up, so I'm good. <laughs> what are we talking about? Oh, Spider Spider Man. Uh, that the, whoever owns Spider Man, rights to Spider Man, had to make the movie again real fast, or they lose their rights back to Marvel Studios. Cool. Yeah, <laughs> uh, as I'm what? Okay with this? What them losing their rights? <laughs> yeah. Have you seen what they did to Spider Man when Venom was introduced? Yeah, I know. Like three. That is that the newest movie, or last, or the last trilogy. That was uh, number three, I think it was. Uh, yeah, that movie. I could be wrong. I heard that movie was just like this current movie. They they tried to do too many villains at one time. Well, it's just he... in the new movie, so. And apparently, they cut out Mary Jane's part in this new movie too. Thank God. All the things you were good for that damn thing. Coming back in the third one, because did you, hey, did you see the second movie? The new one or the last tr last one? Um, the new, the way, did you see the new one that just came out? Not yet. Oh, then I don't want to say. Uh, spoiler alert. No spoilers today. <laughs> uh, no, no, no. Go ahead and spoil it. There's not a fair chance in hell I'm going to be able to watch that after the partial birth abortion that was emo Peter. So go for it. Oh, are you sure? I'm positive. If the viewers don't want to... Sooner... Yeah, you okay? I would say sooner... Spoiling that what happened to the end of the second movie? Alright, mute, mute. everybody mute now. You don't hear, don't hear a spoiler. Otherwise, you're out of luck. Go on ahead. Go on ahead? Yep. I, get, I warn the people. Stacey. All right, ready? When Stacy dies, just like the comics. Uh, did she die with her neck being snapped? No, she. Well, kind of. Like her head hits the hits the ground. Yeah, I, I think so if if they needed help, we could have had Superman come over there and snap her neck for her. I, I think in one of the comics. Oh, like uh, General Zod from Man of Steel. I think one of the comics he. He, he snapped her neck because he, he makes her some kind of... You're, you're the physicist. Um, no, like, what happened was, like, he caught her with the web. Like, in both in both cases, she was in a free fall, and Spider-Man jumped down to go save her, but in the comics, the web grabbed her, but by the neck, and then the wind flash from the web snapped her neck. But then in the movie, he the web grabs her right as her head hits the ground. So... Ugh. Sounds bloody. I remember uh, when I was in the audience, some of the audience members actually gasped because I think you could hear like uh, bone crunching. I have to watch it now. <laughs> Just for that scene. Uh, if you're all. You can, you can all meet, unmute now, the spoilers are over with, if you cared about spoilers. <laughs> Alright. I think there's a. I so Glenn, you want to talk about any, anything like any big any big conspiracy or anything that like last time like any stupid people you've noticed? 
I don't have any particular favorite conspiracy theories that I would like to talk about in particular. Uh. Because they're all seemingly crap. Uh. Uh. Did you watch the last one about the rainbow girl? I watched it. Oh, I know. You, you talked about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I linked to it in the, that video's comment section just because it was so hilariously stupid. Like, I don't know what is in the water that's causing this whole rainbow effect. The whole spectrum is visible. It's like, uh, it's it's, because that's what happens with the prism. Uh, but, <laughs> what about you, Nick? Anything else you want to talk, you want to talk about? Well, not really. Um, I already talked about the reviews and my comeback. So, other than that, the only thing we really have is trying to work on the next KH1 video. Just one process and have to hit it with a hammer. Alright, so I guess that's all. Um, before we go, plugs. Snick, get any plugs you want to give out? What? Plugs. Plug your stuff. Plug my stuff? Yeah, give yourself a shameless advert to your channel. Oh, sure. <laughs> go check out a review of... Uh, go check out my own review of one of the worst party games ever created, where, in the end, I end up liking it. I end up getting shot with a golden eye sound effect. Uh, and where we fi where do we find the, this at? What? List your channel name. Snick1990. Alright, right. Glenn, show me how it's done. Hey, my name is Dr. McMahon with Think Paradox, a public domain video series. You can get to my channel at youtube.com slash quantumfermin, the preferable way to view all my content, including my tweets and Patreon and everything else, is at thinkparadox.cf. Uh, as you can tell, yes, I am sucking the Patreon cock. Oh, oh. <laughs> But that's uh, all we beggars can do. Unfortunately, YouTube isn't the best of things for creating a career, which is why I'm begging, begging for change. Like the whore on the street that's offering to suck your dick for a nickel. Yeah, that's me. So support us, your content creators. You know we love you. We love you long time. I, I'm the devil, bitch. I have also done the Patreon thing. I doubt I'm getting, I'll get anybody, but... It's, it'll be in the description down below. This has been Snick. That's been Glenn. I'm, Vendai, I'm Lamont, also known as Vendai998. And always remember to enjoy the randomness. See ya! Yeah.